Hey everyone, Dante here with the Raging Geek, and today I have Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins action figures. I have the Ninja Tech Snake Eyes, and I have Storm Shadow. Got these at Target the other day. Uh, pretty good price, only $10.99 for each of them. So, the new movie coming out, looking forward to it. The past G.I. Joe movies, really not too memorable. I'm hoping the new movie with Snake Eyes does, you know, a bit better. I uh, I saw these in the store, um, you know, lately, I want to say, going around Target, Walmart, I feel like we're going through like some sort of toy recession. The availability of, of good toys these days on the shelves at stores, uh, you know, brick and mortar stores has been really bad. You know, usually when these toys come out, uh, they don't last too long on the shelves, you know, there's there's toy hunters out there, you know, they're, they're constantly uh, scouring the aisles. Um, and then reselling, so it's hard to find anything uh, in the store, you know, unless you, you, you know, you're, you're making a conscious effort to get these toys the moment they hit the shelves. So I just happened to be strolling by, I, I managed to get this, they had this one in the G.I. Joe section. I got lucky and this one just happened to be in like the NECA section for some reason, um, so, you know, it was, it was nice to get both. I don't normally collect G.I. Joe figures. Uh, you know, I used to when I was younger, um, and I want to say I I always liked Transformers, but, I, you know, I think because of the price factor when I was younger, you know, you just got a lot more bang for your buck with G.I. Joe, and you got a lot more figures, you know, for like Christmas or your birthday or whatever. So, you know, big collector of G.I. Joe when I was younger. Um, nowadays, not so much. I mean, I wish I would have held on to a lot of my G.I. Joes, though, because now they're starting to really uh, you know, jump up in prices as far as uh, resale and, 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 you know, with other vintage collectors. So, let's open these up. I want to take a look. Um, they really look like some nice figures. The Storm Shadow one especially looks like a really good figure. Um, just to give you a close-up, this is the Ninja Tech figure. Um, they didn't have the traditional Snake Eyes outfit, I want to say. So, this is what they call the Ninja Tech I like the size of these figures. These figures in particular, I want to say they're about... So these figures, they are 6 inch figures, um, which is pretty cool. And for 11 bucks, I, I think, you know, finding a good 6 inch figure for 11 bucks, I think, is, is hard to do these days. Um, so I really like the price point on these, and they look good. So, you know, Storm Shadow, Arch Nemesis of Snake Eyes. Um, you know, you can't really have one without the other, uh, and I, I wonder if they're going to come out with a Scarlet figure, because that would be nice too, because she has a pretty extensive history with Snake Eyes. And let's open these up, take a look, this is Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, Snake Eyes Ninja Tech outfit, and Storm Shadow. So, like I was saying, you know, it's getting really hard to find anything on the shelves these days. Um... You know, you walk into the into Target or, or Walmart, it's like, it almost looks like, you know, the week after Christmas, when everything's pretty much, you know, it looks like the shelves are all, they're all disheveled and, you know, everything's laying on the floor and, you know, the, the, the shelves are bare. I mean, it's almost like that, but all the time now. I mean, you rarely... Toys just readily on the shelves. With the Storm Shadow figure, pretty cool. Um, let me just get his bow out here. So, we got the Storm Shadow figure. He has two swords, which is really cool, and they, and they can sheathe which is awesome. Um, he's got a quiver and he's got his bow and the swords you can take off and, and place the quiver on. I guess if you want to go like sword mode or uh, bow mode. So that comes off. Here's the quiver. And typically when you see Storm Shadow in the cartoons he usually has his quiver I want to say. So 
So pretty cool. And then you can put his sword on top of the quiver so you can he can hold everything. So he can have his, his arrows in the quiver. He can have his sword sheathed on top. So pretty cool. Um, and he can hold his bow all at the same time. He can take the swords out. The swords are pretty basic. Um, you know, they're one color. They're not really, they didn't really do much detailing on the handles or anything like that. But one thing I noticed, this has a sort of, like, battle action where, you know, I guess if you put a sword in his right hand, you can kind of just turn him and he'll swing it. So he's kind of got a spring-loaded uh, waist. And I believe uh, Snake Eyes has one too. Um, articulation, well, his, his, uh, his skirt here is... Is rubber. It's vinyl. Um, you know he has he has holes here that you can put him on on a stand if you wanted. Probably you know you could probably manage with a generic NECA stand. Um, articulation. His ankles don't move. His knees move uh, back and forward. Uh, he's got good motion on the legs uh, you know they do move in a circular motion like that so you can do some pretty uh, good poses um, same thing with the shoulders and uh, his wrists do not move and his his hands are pretty fixed but um, his shoulders and elbows do move and his head moves so not too bad with Storm Shadow, uh, pretty cool. I like the outfit. It's got a very high tech ninja look to it, and I love the uh, I love the white snow snow camouflage for his uh, ninja gear. It's pretty cool. So let me open Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes definitely comes with some accessories here. He has two sides. Um, they have some weird hilts, or handles, whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure why they're so thick like that, but they look like they, they mount into something, because there's like, there's holes here that look like they're supposed to fasten onto something, but these are his size, his two size, um, he has two... Hatchets, I forget the the uh, the technical name for these in the martial arts world, but they're pretty much hatchets. I should know, being I'm a I'm a, I'm a huge show Kasugi fan. <laughs> can't I can't even count how many times I've, I've saw like I saw Revenge of the Ninja or. Ninja 3 to Domination, and I can't name these. Shameful. And he comes with his sword. Again, very simple. Not too much detail um, as far as color. The sword goes into the sheath nice. And the sheath can fasten to Snake Eye's back. Which is always cool. I always love a good sheath for my sword. that can be taken out of context and there you have it I mean the uh, the articulation pretty much the same as Storm Shadow um, I'm gonna say Storm Shadow is a a bit nicer as far as the detail um, the ninja tech suit that it just doesn't look as as good but um, just so you get a good close-up and this, the battle action on this figure seems to stop correctly. So I can turn it like this, and he stops forward like that. So it could be I got a bum figure, 
where the battle action is not working properly because I believe this is the way it should work whereas Storm Shadow you can see it's almost like oh there we go I had to kind of fix it myself there there we go so if you do run into that issue where he seems to be going too far to one side after you use the battle action feature just kind of twist it back almost like a clock until you hear a couple of clicks and uh, just do it enough until you get the right position um, it's almost like incremental as far as how far you can go back and like adjust it but it seems to be working good now so and that's it I like the uh, I definitely like the the tier approach they took with the quiver and the sheaths on the back where you can put one on top of the other or just choose either or which is pretty cool um, you know I like the fact that Storm Shadow has two swords I don't know why they didn't do this for Snake Eyes as well they should have um, I don't know if it's something specific to Snake Eyes because I, I feel like I had a Snake Eyes figure and he had two swords but I could be wrong as far as Snake Eyes the only thing I have of Snake Eyes is this old uh, Hasbro figure I have I forget what series this is from this is not the original Snake Eyes though this is like kinda like in the late 80's but yeah he I think he only did have one sword Snake Eyes now that I think of it because this sword I can't find the backpack which is really bugging me um, but this sword sheaths in the backpack that he had it's got to be around here somewhere now I'm going to be looking for it but back to the figures so yeah ten ninety nine each uh, I think I would definitely say these are a buy if you're a G.I. Joe fan or you know a Snake Eyes fan and you know specifically definitely a buy um, great figures you know easily figures like these in general now go for at least 20 bucks I want to say um, so check out your local target this is where I got mine um, you know if I had one bit of advice you know go in the mornings uh, because that's your best chance of getting anything good as far as just you know happening to pass by and see it on the shelf so go in the morning hopefully you'll find it hopefully you get the real you know the uh, the traditional snake eyes outfit um, which I wasn't but I'll be on the lookout for it for sure I'll also be a look on the lookout for Scarlet I'm not quite sure if she's in the movie or not but um you know, I'll be definitely, as soon as that becomes available on Amazon, uh, you know, I, I think I, you know, if possible, I'll do the digital purchase of that or um, the digital rental. Um, but definitely looking forward to it, and I can't wait. Uh, so, Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. This is Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes Ninja Tech Gear. Thanks for watching. This is the Raging Geek. Please come again soon. Take care. Raging Geek Retro. All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks. Raging Geek Retro. All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks.